Have we let others take control of our life? Perhaps most of us cannot answer that question honestly, as we do not realize how out of control we truly are. Likely as not, most of us have let our emotions take full control. Our emotions are as a hazardous and deceitful journey through a jungle of the unknowns. Some are as beautiful orchids, and some are as sweet-tasting honey. However, others are as deadly snakes. Some are pitfalls and death traps. Strange as it may seem, it is by our emotions that others take control of us. Then, of course, our ignorance as well is an invitation to the con artist. So, between our emotions and our ignorance, we become very helpless while making our way through that jungle of the unknowns. We were created with the ability to have full control of our life. Our emotions were not in the plan or intended to be in control. Emotions serve another purpose other than controlling our life. Our emotions should not dominate our life. We could view emotions as a recompense or reward for our behavior in the way we think. It is the product of a thought rather than the thought itself. The facts and truth must dominate our life for success. The truth we know and understand not what others claim to be truth. Understanding is true faith. Then, the subconscious mind. It is as if we have no control over those thoughts or concepts. Those sudden emotions have roots from the past experience or concept. We cannot eliminate those past memories. We can suppress them and put other concepts in their place. Spirit control exercise is the answer to the problem. Concept needs no words. It is only for the transfer to another person. And some transfers are very difficult, if not impossible to transfer, with some people. The only way we can receive another's true concept, we must be honest and searching for the truth. Concept is our greatest gift. Thought is in the transparent or spiritual realms, as it must be written or spoken to be transferred. However, there is the existence of something we call mental telepathy. For that, it appears that one must be very spirit-sensitive. True love and care needs no words for transfer. Our bodies or sophisticated robot, as I like to view them. They are very complex. These robots were designed to heal themselves. Also, they were designed to deaden their pain. That sophisticated computer that rests atop of it all was designed for the residence of our spirit and to take full control of our life. Why would one take a pain pill with all of its unhealthy side effects when the ability has all been so neatly designed in the body? Perhaps pain pills are one of those imitation shortcuts that humans have tried to make. I had three surgeries for hernias. No pain pills. My sophisticated computer blocked the pain and hastened the healing. The same with pulling my own teeth with no pain or Novocaine. So I know that it is all possible with honesty and determination. Those of us who do not want to be in control of our life, we farm it out to someone or something else. It is easier and quicker to just pop a pill or let the doctor take care of it. However, there may be dire consequences in refusing to take responsibility ourselves in controlling our lives. 
The technology of surgery is great and a true blessing to humanity. However, doctors are not warlocks. They do not work magic. Doctors cannot give us excellent health. We alone have that responsibility. Doctors can patch up our bodies after we have trashed them and assist in the failings of nature. Our bodies are not like our automobile. Just purchase a new one after we have trashed the first one. Perhaps most take better care of their automobile than they do their own body. Much depends on our priorities in life. Perhaps we should honestly reevaluate our priority list. We can create great things with the technology that exists today. Yet few, if any, can control their own life. We could think it was just all those bad people that force us to let them have control. We may consider ourselves helpless. Those who entertain that thought are ignorant of the facts and truth, that it is by our emotions that they are able to take that control. We may think we can ignore reality, however, we will all come face to face with it in the end. Reality is very patient, but sure. Total control of our own life begins with honesty. We are speaking of the honesty with ourselves, not with our neighbors or friends. Honesty begins and is the ultimate basis for wisdom. Moreover, if we are not honest with ourselves, we will not be honest with our neighbors or friends. In our society today, we have great drugs and medicine. One could think of them as being miraculous. On the contrary, I am unaware of any that have no possibilities of side effects and even possible death. It is my understanding that many of the drugs only trick or trigger the body into performing the task. Your body ends up needing to do it all anyway. Why take the chance of all of the side effects that are possible? It appears that the human has tried to duplicate complicate and alter everything in nature. Meanwhile, all the mysteries of excellent health and life are hid in the great creator's nature itself. In my 83 years I have witnessed many miracles. It does seem fantastic to watch gold pour into a tooth from nowhere or a child speaking of a thing that they had no way to know except for a spiritual contact with the spiritual realms. Yet, life itself is just as much of a miracle. Perhaps it would be difficult to pinpoint where the physical leaves off or fades out and the spiritual realms take over. The mind and spirit is similar. However, we are a spirit and the mind is more to do with our thoughts. Religion is not the spiritual realms. It is just that some religions use or delve into the spiritual realms. As the spiritual realms is the highest and greatest physics of the universes. As for that paradise in the sky, take heed, create a lifestyle with truth here, or you will turn your paradise into a hell if you just camp there overnight. Perhaps the mysteries of life are so complex the human will never understand life in its fullness. It is truly the wise only that realize how meager their knowledge is. When we find ourselves at a dead-end road or in a box canyon, don't despair. There is a way out. It is backward. Some may think that those who never cease to search are unstable in mind, immature, or dissatisfied with life. However, for those who have it all, that is all you will ever have. When we cease to search, our true life has vanished. We just exist. Until next time, sweet dreams. Truth will solve all of our problems before we create them. And ignore or reject the truth problems multiply all by themselves. Have a great and meaningful life. Just whispers of the ghost of reality.